Also tonight, Vice President Kamala Harris and President Joe Biden rallied together for the first time since she jumped to the top of the ticket. Skylar Henry with the latest now from the White House. President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris are together again, campaigning at a union hall in Pittsburgh. It's their first campaign event together since Harris was elevated on the Democratic ticket as the presidential nominee. I promise you, if you elect Kamala Harris as president, it'll be the best decision you will have ever made. Earlier, Harris was in the battleground state of Michigan, greeting workers in the union stronghold of Detroit. When I am president, we will pass the PRO Act and end union busting once and running mate, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, met with labor leaders in his state before speaking at a Labor Day event in Milwaukee. Vice President Harris, as a protector of democracy, when we win this election, we'll have your back just like you've had our back. The campaign says the Biden-Harris administration is the most pro-labor in history and claims the Trump administration was anti-worker and anti-union. Union members are an important base of support in this year's election. Very important for Democrats. It's a key part of the Biden 2020 coalition that Harris is looking to replicate this time around. Give it up for President Donald J. Trump. The Republican nominee took a break from campaigning this holiday weekend, criticizing the current administration's immigration policies at an event Friday night. Many of these people are criminals. Many of these people are coming out of, of the roughest countries in the world. The campaigns are intensifying with a little more than two months to go until Election Day. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House.